Hello. Today, Izzy and I are going to try to show you how to do an energy transfer lab. So, Izzy, yeah. what's the learning target today? The learning target is I can use equations to calculate the energy transferred from hot to cold water. All right, Izzy, and what equation would you use to calculate the change in temperature? Uh, change in temperature equals um, the final temperature minus the initial temperature. And how will you calculate calories in this lab? Is the it? calories equals mass times the temperature change. Nice job. All right, so in your lab notebook, turn to page 75. And you'll see it says heat transfer at the top. So the first thing you're going to do with your lab group is decide what mass of hot and cold water you're going to use. And I'm going to show you with the arrow where you write it. So underneath number two, it says mass of hot and cold water. In this lab, it's different from the past. You can choose a different amount of hot and cold water, whatever you want. Um, it just has to be between 10 and 50 milliliters because that's the size of the graduated cylinder. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to do is Izzy has a white cup, a styrofoam cup to get hot water, and a blue cup to get cold water. And get that amount of cold water, and then um, measure the proper amount of hot water into one graduated cylinder, and the proper amount of cold water into the other graduated cylinder. Then you can put those cups down and then grab a thermometer and then in your data table you want to record the starting temperature of the hot and cold water so notice how Izzy is holding onto the graduated cylinder at the bottom with her hand and she put a thermometer inside of it and she's gonna measure the temperature of the hot water and then taking the other thermometer she's going to measure the temperature of the cold water and you can see the red arrows pointing to where you record the starting temperature for each of them. Then um, you take out the thermometers from the graduated cylinders. And you got to do it kind of quickly. Then you take your styrofoam cup and place it into the clear cup. Notice how Izzy, move it close to the camera there, Izzy. Notice how she placed the styrofoam cup into the clear cup. And she's going to take each graduated cylinder and pour them into the styrofoam cup. Then she's going to take a thermometer and holding on to the outside cup with one hand, she's going to place the thermometer into the styrofoam cup and measure the final temperature. As you can see, I'm pointing to where you record the final temperature on your data table. Um, for part five and six in your data table, you want to find the change in temperature and calories for each of the hot and cold water. At the bottom there are three questions to work on, one, two, and three. If you finish those questions, you can work on page 76, heat practice A, and page 77 at your desk.